On August 12th, Estonian defense firm Milrim Robotics put out a video showing one of its small, famous unmanned ground vehicles fitted with a Ukrainian 40mm grenade launcher. With this combo, live fire testing was conducted. We take a closer look at these tests and the two platforms for today's video. Per a press release put out by Milrem Robotics, the Estonian defense firm collaborated with a Ukrainian defense technology company by the name of Frontline. The companies paired their respective products with the other. Frontline's Buria remote weapon station, equipped with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, was mounted onto the Themis unmanned ground vehicle. It was stated that the integration was validated during live-fire trials in Ukraine under operationally relevant conditions, marking a significant step forward in the development of unmanned combat support capabilities. The combination of the Buria remote weapon station with the Themis platform was said to have enabled precise target engagement at a distance of up to 1,100 meters while keeping operators safely out of harm's way. Paul Clayton, director of industrial partnerships at Milrim Robotics, was quoted as saying, this successful demonstration verifies the reliability and accuracy of the Buria Themis integration. It highlights the expanding role of robotic platforms in improving tactical effectiveness and operator safety on the modern battlefield. During the live fire trial, Themis proved its stability and target tracking abilities while confirming the accuracy and effectiveness of Buria. Yevon Tretiak, CEO of Frontline, was quoted as saying, this is a vivid example of Ukrainian innovation combined with European engineering. At Frontline, we believe the future of modern warfare belongs to robotic systems. Buria is part of our vision for a robotic Frontline, where drones perform defensive and offensive operations while soldiers remain out of harm's way. Together, we're fast-tracking these technologies to the front lines. We're reporting this in late August, but at the time of the press release on August 12th, it was said that further live-fire testing and tactical validation would continue in the coming weeks to assess performance across a range of battlefield scenarios. The data collected would then help inform future system upgrades and potential deployment strategies. If you're learning about these systems for the first time, here's a bit more information about each platform. Themis, coming from Estonian firm Milrem Robotics, was the first unmanned ground vehicle or UGV in its class to be deployed by the Ukrainian armed forces in the war against Russia. Milrem says it's widely recognized as the most capable UGV currently operating in Ukraine. While a diesel engine version exists, if using an electric battery, Themis has a runtime of one and a half hours. It can be towed at speeds of up to 80 km an hour and can move as fast as 20 km an hour under its own power. It has a weight of 1.63 metric tons with a rated payload weight of 750 kg and a max payload weight of 1,200 kg. The platform has been ordered by or is in service with 17 countries, including eight NATO members, Estonia, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Norway, Spain, the UK and the US. For more about the technological innovation coming from Milrem Robotics, we invite you to check out our video about the company. A few years back, a Russian defense industry think tank offered a cash reward for anyone able to capture a Themis operating in Ukraine. And then, in 2024, it was reported that Russian forces appeared to have captured one of the remotely controlled vehicles. But wrapping things up with some background on the Buria grenade launcher RWS, the system has been in service with military units since January 2025 and is now in serial production. The system is actively integrated into combat support units through a training program designed specifically for frontline deployment. According to the website Tech Ukraine, the Buria robotic turret for the Mark 19 grenade launcher weighs 47 kilograms and can be deployed manually on a tripod or transported using a logistics platform. The software component of Buria enables targeting using a laptop or tablet from a shelter at a distance from the turret. It also integrates with current state and private situational awareness systems. But what do you think of this development and what it means for the future of ground combat? Let us know by leaving a comment.